Yeah, welcome back and sorry but I have to apologize in advance but the title on this video is a little bit misleading. It's going to be kind of door heavy. Um, so anyway, let's uh, get it out of the way because I've got to show you what's going on. Can't hide all that. Uh, anyway, here's the layup on the frame on the passenger side here and varying different um, layers put down there to build up about a quarter inch at the bottom and less at the top. And what's left now is to do the peel ply on there. And here you can see I put the peel ply in there. So it's, I did a fairly neat job, I think. Uh, so if you do a, a neat job on the layup, it's less um, work on finishing it off later. So that's how that came out. And skipping right to just showing you with a peel ply on the other side. So again, uh, similar amount of layers put down there. I think it was up to six at the bottom. And the other one had up to seven layers of a heavy, which ends up being about uh, almost quarter of an inch altogether. And there you can kind of see the thickness on the side of that underneath the peel ply. And uh, moving on more on the doors. So took the doors off obviously. And now I've got all this double sided tape that I was using to hold that um, the inflatable seal on there. So I've got to scrape that off. And looks like I'm having a lot of trouble there. But actually figured out a good technique and got it off fairly quickly. And this is what it looks like there. Now before I put a bit of acetone on there just to wipe it off. Um, so the goal is here now is to prep these door frames so I can uh, give them the proper paint job on there and then I can um, glue the inflatable seals on. And meanwhile Devon's working on still prepping all these different uh, wing skin surfaces and elevator surfaces for bonding while Jeff's away. And here you can see we've got the doors now masked up where we're actually going to be painting. I won't be painting the inside section there because it's going to get a door trim over it. It's just a waste of time painting that. Uh, but everything uh, outside of the yellow masking is what's going to be painted. And I'm not bothering to take the door locks out at this point. Um, just too much effort to put them all back in. So um, the top frame there will get painted there so they'll look all fresh. And a little bit later on in the day here, this is on um, Thursday now. So I've got that one sanded, mostly sanded around the edges there as you can see and uh, ready for another round of primer pretty much just gonna give it a little bit more work on there and then man just just one door thing after the other so this is what this one looks like with the peel ply off so it came out actually pretty nice pretty nice finish there so now I've, I've got to go and do the work there to trim the edges and make it match up to the existing frame so what I'm doing here is just taking my little scribe there and I got it on on the back of the layup there as you can see and then on the front of the layup, so I'm basically marking exactly where the edge of the actual frame is. So I can just run it down there, put a scribe mark there, and then the, the next step would be just to put um, some yellow tape down there so I know where I'm cutting to, the edges that I'm cutting to, and I don't cut too far. And you know, I want to try and cut off as much as I can, so that means less sanding uh, later on. So as you see, it's a little bit tricky because behind there is not just a perfectly smooth surface, but um, you know, you get the idea. I'm able to uh, put a scribe mark down there good enough uh, that I can use it as a guideline for putting uh, some of our yellow masking tape down the middle and then I can cut to either side of it using uh, the Dremel saw as you'll see uh, here in a little bit. And as you can probably see, I've already marked the one for the outside of the frame. And this is what it looks like with the uh, yellow tape down there. So I'll be cutting on either side of that uh, very carefully. Um, with uh, this guy so and just setting the depth so I'm not cutting into the existing frame just cutting through the layup and so that's what it looks like after I've cut the edges there uh, most of it a little tricky down the bottom so now I'm switching to the regular Dremel so I can use that little blade there to work around the corners but you'll see more on that in a little bit and meanwhile Dan has been out and um, got out is working on getting the air conditioning lines all hooked up there and he's picked up or got off the salvage that we had the connectors for the um, compressor there and I uh, went down to Marietta and got some lines there made up for us so those two lines that he has there so those are made up and he's pulling some of the other stuff there's the uh, dryer there that's not where it's going to mount he's just had it sitting there and under here he's got the third or uh, the second fuel pump mounted in there as well and also a cutoff valve that may come in handy later and we'll actually be wiring that open safety wiring it so it doesn't uh, accidentally get disconnected and uh, back there look look at that pretty clean <laughs> actually came out way better than I thought it would still needs a little bit of uh, 
work um, just on the edges there and I'll probably add a little bit of fill in that little gap there because it's just a little gap in some places but actually it came out really well and the thickness is uh, just hopefully just right where I need it to be and uh, Dan's also working on there getting that uh, heat exchanger all plumbed up with proper fittings because the ones I had before were just sort of temporary ones um, and as you can see he's got some of the lines there coming through the firewall there for the various different feeds and uh, this is the other frame now so I've trimmed that one off as well and uh, this is what it looks like all uh, cleaned up with the tape removed so I've still got a um, fair around there where the pins go in and do a little bit of uh, extra little fill work on the edges there and then um, it'll be ready to to put some primer on there probably and next thing on the doors, man, it's just all oh, I told you it was going to be heavy on the doors. These um, armrests, they needed to be uh, sort of mouse hold there around where those linkages go. So you can see I've marked out where the cuts need to be. And I got out the Dremel saw once again and just clamped these to the side of one of the tables and just cut those notches out there. As you can see, they're just those are the ones that just laid up around some foam. And uh, that's what that looks like all sitting there. I also had to fair out a little bit in the middle there where that uh, lock is. Uh, but it sits down there nicely now and I've just got to create the or drill the anchor hole um, in either end there and um, put in some nut inserts there into the door frames in order to bolt that up and then we'll get that covered and there's the other one done as well so that'll get covered uh, with leather and then ultimately um, to finish off the door there and make it kind of look nice and presentable after all the fiasco of these doors we'll be making up um, a door panel here and uh, this is what it's going to look like that was the design I did a long time ago and uh, it shouldn't be very difficult to do because what I'm going to do is just um, mill it out of some foam just the, w the same way as we did the actual armrest and then I'm thinking about laying up um, just a vacuum bag over the top of it and vacuuming that down and then dropping carbon fiber over the top of that and then uh, laying that up and then vacuuming that down and then so when it cures I can basically just separate the carbon fiber part from the foam um, and uh, you know with the plastic behind it and this way you know we don't have to create a, f a special mold because you know the plan is not to use these doors anymore so I don't want to go to all the trouble of creating a mold but I do want to create a panel so it should be a fairly quick operation to do this and then I can just send that panel off and uh, get it covered in ultra suede and then the leather armrest will stick out through the middle of them so and we'll have actually what it will be a fairly nice looking door and Devin's just been pushing on getting all these different flight surfaces done the here he's working on um, just finishing off the edge there trimming the edges to size of one of the uh, winglet skins there and Dan's still working along with all the various systems working on the AC and the heat exchanger and pulling the various hoses and getting all the connectors done and ordered and all that good stuff so he's making a lot of progress there and uh, it looks like um, you know there's still a bunch of stuff to do but uh, we're getting all the way through it and uh, next week we'll just be more of the same with the systems and I'll be getting those doors um, frames in the primer so anyway Sorry once again for the heavy update on all the door information, but uh, you know that's what I've been working on, and uh, that's um, what I had to show you. So that's our update for this week, and uh, thanks again for watching, and tune in uh, Tuesday and see what uh, is happening next week.